Hello coders and developers. It's a delight to have you at Guild Geekify Programming. My name is Saeed Kohansel, your guide in the realm of full-stack web development. In this video, I want to give you a complete guide for injecting JavaScript and CSS into any website on an Android web browser. Also, we will learn a few other things such as how to install and run Chrome extensions on mobile, how to use developer tools or inspect element on mobile, and also how to use the view page source option on mobile. Just like your desktop, you can easily transform any website you want on your phone into your desired theme by injecting JavaScript and CSS. All right, before we start, let me tell you a few points. To learn how to inject JavaScript and CSS, as well as design and build Chrome extensions, and many other tips, you can refer to the Chrome extension development playlist on my channel. I have produced videos on this topic that are available on the channel. Also, to get the source codes, you can visit my GitHub page. I have tried to provide all the source codes completely for you. In this video, I intend to use this Chrome extension that I have previously designed and run it on mobile. This is a Chrome extension named Injector Plus. You can watch the creation of this extension from scratch in the related video. Let me show you the desktop usage of this extension. Once we've covered that, we can proceed to the mobile experience. This extension has two states, active and inactive, which can be changed by a toggle. When it is active, it injects and executes the JavaScript and CSS codes that we have defined for it into the defined websites. All right, now let's run this Chrome extension on mobile. I have placed the source code of this extension here. To install and run Chrome extensions on an Android device, we need to install a web browser called Kiwi Browser. This browser is Chromium-based and works like Google Chrome, plus it has more special features. For instance, Kiwi supports most Chrome desktop extensions, Chrome DevTools, and more. You can directly download this application in APK format or install it from the Google Play Store. I will place the necessary links for you in the description. Okay, to run the extension on mobile, we just need to create a zip file from the root directory. You can choose any name you like for this file. Very well, the extension is ready to run and use on your mobile. At this step, you just need to transfer this file to your mobile in any way you like. I use the AirDroid app for these transfers. I create a folder named Chrome extension and transfer the file there. The name of this folder is not important. Okay, the file has been transferred to the mobile. So now we have the extension on the mobile, let's go and run it. I have installed the Kiwi browser on my mobile. I enter the example.com website to test things on it. Okay, in the Kiwi browser, we have access to extensions in this section. And in this section to the developer tools. First, let me show you the developer tools or inspect element. This section works exactly like the desktop version of Google Chrome. 
you have access to the JavaScript console, elements, and other items. For example, I make a few edits and check it. All right, now let's move on to the extensions section. On this page, you must enable developer mode to be able to run extensions that are not available on the official Google Store. You will see two options here. The first option is to install extensions from the Chrome Web Store and the second option is to load extensions in ZIP or CRX format. Kiwi Browser supports most Chrome desktop extensions. So this is the method of installing official Chrome extensions on Android. Now let's get to our main task, which is running the Injector Plus extension to inject JavaScript and CSS into the websites of our choice. To do this, we just need to tap on this option and select the zip file of our desired extension for execution. I go to the path where I have transferred the file from my desktop to my phone. And I select this extension to run. Very well, as you can see, my extension has been executed. Just like on your desktop, you can go to the settings and enable this extension for incognito mode using the allow an incognito option. Now let's test the extension. Perfect, as you can see, the extension is working properly. In the Kiwi browser, the icons of installed extensions are placed at the end of the menu options. When we tap on the Injector Plus button, it toggles between two states, active and inactive, based on the logic I have defined for this extension. Only when the extension is active, it injects our JavaScript and CSS into the websites we have specified. Okay, now let's check the process of injecting into other websites that I have previously specified in this extension. These are the codes that are injected into the Wikipedia website. And these are the codes that are injected into the Facebook website. All right, at this stage, I want to show you how you can edit injected codes or inject a new code. Also, you can inject new codes into new websites. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, to understand and learn how to inject JavaScript and CSS, as well as the structure of this Chrome extension that I have created, you can watch the related video on my YouTube channel. You just need to update the extension files and create another zip file from the new version. For example, I define a JavaScript alert that will be injected into the website, example.com.
In the end, I save this file and then update my zip file with the new file. So far, I have updated the extension and transferred it again to my mobile, just like the example I showed you in the past few minutes of this video. Very well, now all I need to do is remove the extension using the remove button and then load and run the new version of it in the Kiwi browser again. Okay, now let's check the new version of the codes. As you can see, the new code has been injected well. As another example, I want to change the background color of the page and test it. All right, I'm loading the new extension again. Very well, so far we have managed to inject both JavaScript and CSS code. At this stage, I intend to teach you how to debug this Chrome extension. To debug the extension, simply tap on the service worker link. In this console, you just need to call a function named extension status report. This is a function that I have defined in this extension for debugging purposes. This is the source code of this function, which is located in a file named functions.js within the extension files. When you call it, it provides you with information about the status of the extension and the websites to which you inject code, and outputs it in the console for you. Very well, this is the output of this function. It precisely shows us which websites we are injecting code into and it currently identifies the status of the extension as enabled, which is the correct status. Now let's disable the extension to see what output it gives. Okay. Let's call the function again. Excellent, as you can see, the extension correctly detected that we have disabled it. So, we learned how to debug the Injector Plus extension. And we get to the last thing in this video that I want to show you, which is how to use the View Page Source feature on mobile. To view the source code of a web page, simply open your desired browser, then in the address bar type, view source, colon, followed by the web address you are interested in. And just like that, you can easily view the source of the pages. If this video was helpful or enjoyable, don't forget to hit the like button. To stay connected and receive updates on my latest content, please subscribe and activate notifications.
your thoughts and feedback are valuable, so feel free to leave a comment. Thanks for your time and I hope you found this video beneficial.